I'm going to show you how to create your own program using a tool called Scratch. So that you can create the program with me, pause this video when you need to and repeat the steps on your computer. Here is how your finished project will look. To start any Scratch program, click the green flag. When I do that, this program is going to play a recording that like an introduction to this program. And when I click on one of the planets, it's going to play a recording uh, that a student recorded with a fact about that planet. So I'm going to go ahead and click the green flag to let it start. The Planets by Susie, Johnny, Jenny, and Sadie. Click on a planet to learn about it. So if I click on Neptune. Neptune has large storms and high speed winds. Or if I click on Saturn. Saturn has the most rings and over 150 moons. And if I click on the other planets, they would say a fact as well. So that's the program that you're going to create today. And to save you some time, I started a blank project that you can start from that has all the pictures loaded. And all you have to do is add your recordings and your programming logic. You should ask your teacher how to get to that project. When you get there, you're going to click on the See Inside link on the page. And that's a very important thing to remember when you're on a, any Scratch program created by any student or teacher. You can always see their code by clicking on See Inside. So it's a great way to learn about computer programming. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign into the Scratch website. That will allow me to save my work back to the Scratch website so I can show my friends and show my parents later. The um, next thing I'm going to do, I ask your teacher, by the way, what your username and password should be. The next thing I need to do is remix this program. I'm going to create a copy of this program that's all mine. So I'm going to click Remix and click OK. It's remixing. It's creating a copy just for me. And the next thing I'll do is I'll give it a name. I'm going to call it Kim's Planets. You can call it whatever you like, just don't use your last name. If you're doing a group project, you can put all your names up there, but call the project something that will allow you to find it later because other students are going to be posting similar projects to this um, website as well. So to save your project, you can hit save, File and then Save Now. And now I'm ready to start. A little bit about Scratch. The way it's laid out is it's, it's like a show or a play. It has a stage and then it has sprites. And a sprite can be a person or an animal or a drum or anything that your program needs. Anything that's going to go on your stage is going to be a sprite. For our project, our sprites are all planets. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start recording um, some things for our planets. And each of our sprites can do three things. It can have a script that makes it do something. It can have a costume that tells it how it should look. And it can change its costume to change its appearance. And it can have sounds. And we're going to use two of these. Well, actually, we're going to use all three because the costume has been loaded for you. But if I click on Mercury, now I'm going to add a script to the planet Mercury. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is record a sound that goes with this planet. In order to do that, uh, you can either use a uh, sound from the library, which we won't do today because we're recording our own voice with a voice clip about Mercury, not just a sound effect. Uh, you're going to hit the microphone. And that gives me a brand new recording called Recording One. To record your own voice or voices of uh, the kids in your group, you're going to click on the circle button to start recording. And when you're done, you'll hit the square or the stop button. So I'm going to make a very short recording about Mercury just to show you how it works. This is Planet Mercury. And then when I hit stop, that stops my recording. If I wanted to play it back, I can hit the play button. This is Planet Mercury. So that's how I record a sound to go with Mercury. The next thing I will do is I will add a script that plays my sound. So every script has to start with an event, and the event tells it when to execute the script. In this case, I, the script is going to start 
when you click on the sprite, when you click on Mercury. So I'm going to say when this sprite is clicked, I'll drag it to my pane, my programming pane over here. The next thing I'll do is from the sounds menu, I'll drag over the command to say play sound. I only have my recording one, so it's just going to play recording one. So if I wanted to try this out, if I just click on the header, it'll run my script. This is Planet Mercury. And play the sound that I recorded. If I hit the green flag to start my program and I click on Mercury, it will also execute this script. This is Planet Mercury. And I'll click on the red stop sign to stop my program. So that's what you're going to do for all of the, of the planets. I'll do one more just to give you another uh, example. So if I click on Earth, I'm going to add a sound recording to Earth by clicking on the microphone. I'm going to record my own voice. This is Earth and click Stop when I'm done. I'm going to go to the Scripts tab. My event to start this script will be when this sprite is clicked and then I'm going to play the sound recording one. Make sure they click together. So if I run my program, if I click on Mercury, this is Planet Mercury. It plays my recording and if I click on Earth, this is Earth, it plays my recording. So the last thing I'm going to do, pretend that I've finished all my planets, uh, is to make the stage both say a little bit about my project and I can record an introduction. So the stage, just like the sprites, can have um, a way that it looks and a way that it sounds. So going to the backdrops tab, uh, I can see what this my stage backdrop is and I'm going to add some pretend student names in there. And in this drawing pane, uh, if you click on the T, it gives you a text tool. And if I click right over here, I'm going to say by, oops, well, I can delete that. <laughs> click on T for text. By John Emma, Sadie, and Kim. And if you don't like the font, you can change it. There are several. You pick whatever one you like the best. I kind of like marker because that's what was used up above, but pick whatever you like. You can pick a different color if you'd like to by the um, color pane down here. When you click off of it, you can move it if you don't like where it ended up by dragging it while it's got the box around it. Then once the box is gone, you click off of it, it's now part of your backdrop. If for some reason you didn't like what you had done and you wanted to start over, um, there is an undo button. You can undo your last uh, step. So now that I have it looking the way I want, I can record an introduction. This you'll do the same way you do with the planets, but you can say, all your names, all the kids who participated in this project. You can tell your end user that they should click on your planets to learn about them. Whatever introduction you want to record, go ahead and record that the same way you did as the others. Click on the microphone and hit record. This is our project. Click on a planet to learn about it. And then click stop. And the same way we did for the planets, Go to the Scripts tab for your stage. Click on um, Events. And in this case, I want this one not to go when I click on it. I want this one to start as soon as you start my program. So as soon as you hit the green flag, this code is going to start. And I'm going to just play my sound just like the others. Play Sound Recording 1. So let's see it all together. I'm going to hit the green flag and it will play my recording. This is our project. Click on a planet to learn about it. And then I click on... This is Planet Mercury. Mercury. 
and then the rest will all work as soon as you finish your code. I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope it inspires you to learn about computer programming and please take some time to explore the Scratch website and look at some of the other great programs created by other students.